Hi y'all, welcome back to Astral Motivation. My name is Jupiter James, where I awaken the astrologer within you and aim to give you a little encouragement and an inspiration per your unique placement within your birth chart. You know, I really do feel that before a time of technology and iPads and I this and I that, we were a culture and a society that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly what the universe wanted from us. And it is with that language and that knowledge that we were able to look at our birth charts and decipher where our dreams were and how to get there. And so if that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Today we're going to get into Neptune in the 12th house. Now, this is going to give me someone who is very wise and very psychic and they may keep that aspect of themselves hidden and away from public view. Um, but before we go ahead and dive deep into this very mystical and dreamy aspect, let's go ahead and um, dissect it. That way we are better able to do more with the information we've been given and we're not confined to just Neptune in the 12th house, okay? That way when we see Neptune playing out in the world, we can go, okay, that's Neptune energy playing out. When we see 12th house playing out in the world, we can go, okay, that's 12th house energy playing out, okay? So with Neptune, as an astrologer, Neptune is always going to show me where the spiritual forces of a person is. You know, everyone isn't always outwardly spiritual right off the bat. Some people need a pinpointed area of their life where they see and commune and divine with spirit, okay? And um, I have a story actually that will better able help me to explain to you what Neptune is for people okay so I have a friend um, in LA and she calls me all the time because she's now newly on the market she's single she's playing the field and you know she was calling me she was like oh my god there's this guy he's coming into my life and I like him he checks all the boxes but he's not spiritual enough for me and I was like wait 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 pump the brakes it's not that he's not spiritual it's just about you have to find where he is spiritual, where he may see magic, where he may see God and communicate with the higher forces of the universe that we live in. And, um, you know, for some people, we some people experience God while they're cooking for their family. Some people experience God while they're out on the b-ball field uh, playing hoops and, and shooting basketball. You know, some people experience God when they are in their career and doing well for the people around them. And it's again, it's just about finding where you experience your God or your higher power. And that's where Neptune for me is going to show me of a person. Now, this is also going to show me where this person it has a hard time grounding things you know neptune is a higher octave of venus and with this it's going to be something that is nebulous to us it's going to be th something wherever neptune is pointing to it's going to show me where this person has a hard time grounding this area there's a sense of confusion about this area of their life you know and they can't quite ground it they don't quite get it and it is meant that when the universe does grant them to get it or they do open the doors for this person to receive the thing that Neptune is sitting in. That is when the person goes, whoa, you know, I was so confused about that thing and I didn't have the power to make that thing real in my life that when it does happen, they go, wow, that must have been the universe. You see, so this is the area of life where they commune and divine with God and a higher power. This is where that channel, where that, that connection is with the, the cup and the line to spirit is, you know, this is where that person communicates with it is where Neptune is, all right? So with the 12th house, 12th house is going to be ruled actually by Neptune and it is gonna be ruled by Jupiter and it's going to also be ruled by the sign of Pisces. Now, no matter what planets and what sign your 12th house may be in, because that will always change depending on whose birth chart you are looking at and what the rising sign is for you, um, the default out of the packaging birth chart, like I like to say, it's going to be ruled by Pisces, Jupiter, and Neptune is going to rule the, the 12th house, okay? And this is going to give themes of your bedtime dreams. This is going to give you energy of your mysticism and your spirituality and things that are hidden from you. You know, they are just out of you. Remember, I said Neptune is what? It's that thing that is just out of you. It's just out of your scope, just out of your range of consciousness of what you are able to ask uh, to access. And that is what this theme is, whether that be physically, you know, um, mentally and emotionally sometimes. That's what this theme of this house, of the 12th house is. It's gonna give you themes of things that are far away from you and things that are in far off lands and hidden and losses because it's hard to ground. It's hard to keep and manage and maintain. And it's the also the house of your dreams and your 
yeah, your dreams. Piscean energy rules this house, okay? So, what happens when we throw Neptune into the 12th house? Well, first and foremost, before I even get into the analysis, Neptune is at home in this sign, okay? So, your 12th Lord is in the 12th house in this sign. Well, so to speak, actually, disregard what I just said. But the planet Neptune is gonna kind of be at home here, okay? In some senses, because the default ruler is Neptune, all right? But that could change depending on what your sign is. But for the most part, I'd say that, you know, you for you, you could be a very wise and esoteric spiritual teacher, but you keep it to yourself. You could be someone who is very psychic and very in tune with the, the flow of the universe, but you just kind of keep that to yourself, you know? Or you probably don't even realize that you are those things. You probably walk around and say certain things or do certain things and people go, wow, how do you know that? Or how she, how she know that? Like she just read my life for filth on a spiritual sense and wow how does she do you could be very wise very wise beyond your years you could have very spiritual wisdoms about you you could have um you could be very good with music you could be a very gifted person when it comes to creativity and sometimes these things may just be hidden to you now that may differ with other planets that are in your house but with this with Neptune in the 12th, you could be very gifted at music, gifted in the arts, gifted with mysticism and things like that. And you may only be able to express these things when you are behind closed doors or in far away lands. You know, when it if you are at home in the home that you grew up in, you may have hard time expressing that creativity that is within you for whatever reason. Maybe it's fear of judgment from your family and friends, but the minute that you get a job in some far off land or when you are in your room by yourself this is when these things can come out and you can show yourself wow i didn't know that i was able to read tarot cards wow i didn't know that i could play this guitar like that wow i didn't know that i was the singer like but when my mom is at work i can sing when i'm to by myself i can sing you know like it's things like that you probably have a lot of creative gifts that are lost on you and hidden from you until you are away from others and that could be due to it could be due to a lot of things it could be due to fear of judgment it could be um just that you are not being given the space to express yourself you could be insecure about your gifts you could be someone that just has not had the time to cultivate your gifts and it is only when you find yourself away on your own doing your own thing that these things come out okay you could be very highly psychic you could have very prophetic dreams you could be very intuitive you also could repeat patterns and cycles in your life only because you aren't really getting the lesson. You're, the, the spiritual wisdom and the spiritual nugget in your life that maybe would prevent you from repeating the lesson is probably lost on you. You probably don't quite get it, right? Like these divine downloads that you should be getting are kind of lost on you sometimes. Um, but this is a very magical placement, I feel like. And this placement, you could also learn that you can't help everybody. You probably want to help everyone, but for some reason, that empathy that you have, that you definitely have, sometimes you aren't given the space to be empathetic to everyone. Sometimes you can't sacrifice yourself or everyone. And that's probably a lesson that you're learning is that you really can't help everyone. Even though you have that feeling of wanting to help people and do things for people, um, you probably can't. And that is probably a part of your lesson. If that is the way that it is, that's not a bad thing. For some people, you, you probably did so much for people in your past life that in this life, the universe is like, look, I want you to be spiritually, spiritually wise for yourself. I want you to use all that spiritual wisdom so that you pass your test. You know, in your past life, you were probably running around telling everyone how to pass their karmas and how to get through this and how to do that and how to do this, but you forgot about you. You forgot like, damn, I'm not doing what I need to do to spiritually ascend and to spiritually get through this life and this earth school that we're in. So be very careful of that. Be someone that is um, helping people, but don't forget about yourself as well. And that's probably something that you're learning in this life. But yeah, you are a very spiritual person. You are very spiritually tapped in and very highly creative. And try not to worry about expressing that too much to the world. I guarantee that if you 
cultivate these things by yourself and to yourself and for yourself, that is when the best parts of you will come out. That is when the magical forces of you will come out, you know? Um, but yeah, I would really highly suggest becoming like a psychic or an astrologer or um, someone like you could even be a preacher or someone that travels to learn about spiritual things is something that you could be very gifted in and lucky and you probably are someone that is also very good at astral travel and when you sleep you can astral travel or astral project but you could be a great healer a great psychic again someone who heals people on a psychic spiritual mystical level and that's astrology that's um yeah so I really do hope that this helped you. If this sounds like you at all, let me know, okay? Put in the comments if this sounds like you. And while you're at it, can you put the sign that your Neptune in the 12th house is in? Because then that will better it will help me to help you. And I can write back to you what you could be experiencing with that specific placement, okay? Because this is a general video. And there's no way, no how that I could ever hit the nail on the head for everyone out there. You know, some things are going to land and some things aren't. But if you give me the sign that your Neptune in the... 12th house is in, I could write back to you about what you could be experiencing for sure with that placement, okay? But again, I really do hope that you got some clarity and some insight and encouragement from this placement. Continue to be spiritual on your own. Continue to find space in your life where you are being empathetic towards yourself because that could be something that you are missing. And continue to be a light, all right? Many may not see it, but the ones that are truly for you, will see it and will rock by your side, okay? I love you, I'm rooting for you, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.